What you need now is money, not girlfriend. Yes, go and make money. Go and look for money. Please. I wasn't born into this life to suffer. So has every other young lady. Go and look for money. And stop looking for who to lure into your abject penury. Go and look for money. Please. Chioma. Yes. Chioma. Yes. That is my name. Ogini. Why are you calling me? Wait, Chioma. That I don't have money today. It doesn't mean I will have tomorrow. Chioma, you should understand that my future will be bright tomorrow. The light will shine on me tomorrow. Eh? Which light? Just take a good look at yourself. Which light? Hey! My friend, stop deceiving yourself, oh. Stop deceiving yourself and go and look for money. Just, just, just look at you. Look at what you are wearing. This thing now should not be more than 15 naira in a cake. This one now is 25 naira. Yes, now. You're not even ashamed of yourself. And you're saying the light will shine on your tomorrow. Let's wait. Let's wait now. Maybe, just maybe, when I see the light shining on your tomorrow, I can consider. But for now, <laughs> what I see around you is total darkness. Yes! I've not even seen any hope coming closer. Nothing! So go and look for money and stop disturbing my life, please! I see tomorrow bright. Right. Just, just, just imagine the tomorrow will bright. Don't say. Papa, I'm on one chance. Papa, what's up, dude? Were you talking to me? No, I was dancing. Huh? How confused can you be? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Papa, how can you be reading and singing at the same time? Papa, do one and leave one. Now nah, I'll see that you ain't nothing but a stark illiterate. A more round of the sound. Yo, this is how we used to roll way back in the States. We run a lot of things together, you know what I'm saying? Without being distracted. So what you saying? Papa, no wonder you return empty-handed. No wonder you return with between slippers and towel. Eh? You are insulting me. No, I'm praising you, Papa. You better be. What you see to your holding in your hands? Machine gun. I thought you do many things at the same time. You can't even notice what I'm holding. What a cause of a song. Who knows who you must have stolen that from?
Oh, thank God. Oh, my God, I missed you so much. Look at you. You went to have just you. Mm. How are you? Now that you are back, and all protocols duly observed here, can we now proceed to the dining? The food is set. I'm really famished, Dad. I'm hungry. I know you are famished. That is why your sister and I took our time and prepared your favorite. I trust you, Mom. Wait till you test it. I trust you. I think that was it. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You look good too. Thank you. You can have it. All right, well, uh, Dad, bring up a luggage. Our luggage is from the car. Let's go in, let's go in. Oh, 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 oh. It's been decades I test this kind of delicious meal. Whoa, mom, I thought that by now you must have lost all your cooking skills. Whoa. <laughs> have you forgotten what they said? Agadi, The fact that I'm the queen doesn't mean that I will lose my cooking skills. I thought you meant. Considering that the maids are the one doing all the house shells in this palace. I'm a woman. Uh, I don't understand. Like, why are all the praises going to mom? For God's sake, we made this together, mom. Does that indicate a note of jealousy? Not jealousy, mom. I'm just trying to get my own credits. <clears throat> Please praise her. Mom! <laughs> Dad! Testing, testing microphone. Hello? Please, the whole world hear me. My sister here is the best cook in the whole world. Now you're talking. You can say that again. She is the best cook. Princess Adese is, is the, the best, best cook, cook in, in the, the whole world. world. <laughs> Louder than yours, boy. You see, um, I am a fulfilled man now. My daughter is now a graduate. A foreign university. Yes, so it's no my need. Daughter. I'm happy. Thank you, Dad. Thanks to this federal government scholarship scheme. If not, I don't think I could have achieved that on my own. Yes, Dad. Thank God for the federal government scholarship scheme. And thank God for making you my father the king of this community. Dad, my sister is very right. If not that you are the king, the opportunity would have passed on to another family. Maybe to another royal family. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> But at least let's let's get him to the hospital first. They will sort that out. I beg you in the name of God, assist me. I do not have any friend to go to. At this point in my life, you are the only person I can cry to because you're my friend. Assist me. Let me save the life of my father. I, I don't have one I love I I I Oh, 
propose this for me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Hi! This, this is the end day. End day. I get this money from you. You will not take it. And I don't want to tell you so you can make yourself the money. Then God bless you. Then God will bless you. For this singular thing that you have done for me, God will bless you. And I promise you that one day I will return this favor. Thank you so much. Just you know, save the life of your father. I believe you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Loves you. Why don't you give him a chance? A chance to do what? Oh, oh, you want him to introduce me into his abject poverty, right? <laughs> no, my darling friend. A chance for him to love you. Love without money. Is that one love? Answer me. Love without money is rubbish. Love in Kabapoku. <laughs> Shoma, you're just being greedy here. Everything is not all about money. And Piccolo, you see, is a very hard-working young man. And everyone in this village can access to it. But just that, it's only unfortunate. And you want me to become a girlfriend or possibly end up as a wife to an unfortunate fellow. Is that what you want? Okay. Okay, are you really my friend? No, answer me. Are you really my friend? Is this what you wish for me? Hi, God. You know that my family spent a lot to see me through school. And they don't deserve such disappointment from me. I must make my family proud. Biko. <laughs> Choma. Choma, let me tell you. This Piccolo you're seeing today might end up becoming a billionaire or even a trillionaire tomorrow. You have to be wise. Oh, think, oh. You then. have to think, oh. Till then, oh. Till then. Yes. Let's wait till he becomes a billionaire. But right now, he is still a papa. And he's not in my class. Nina, check me out hmm. now. Check me out. Can be going let me check you out again. Can be going let me check you out again. Check me out. Can be going by my head. Can he give me money for makeup? Nothing. So, don't even. In fact, the last time I checked, you are very much single and searching. Yes! And you are overdue for marriage. And so what? He never indicated his interest in me. Set yourself around him. Are you, are you a baby? Don't you know what's up anymore? Front yourself around him. Please. Maybe he might pick interest in you. Because you are the one that really needs husband. I can see your speech. You are mad. Can you imagine? No, no. Tell me rubbish. Go and meet him up before I want Nagano. Nonsense. I slap you now, eh? Your head will twist. No, you're not going to this So I know you're talking to in that manner. Eh? So much disrespect! Brother, why are you saying like this? You know me before now, I have respect. You know where you're going to come on, It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you.
Where are you coming back from? I took a walk down to the village park. And who did you take permission from? Mom, is that really necessary? Yes, it is very, very necessary. Remember you were young when you left. And here is not America where you can walk around anyhow. There are charms here. This is Nigeria. Everything is possible and anything can happen at any time. So please, my daughter, whenever you want to leave this house, seek my consent or your father's own. Please. You know, go. Okay, mom. I'm sorry. It's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Papillo, my bosom hey, American yo, hey, friend. Hey, yo, your highness. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Papillo, I have cola. Let's drink. Come on, your highness. You know better than this. You know, homie, don't play this. I can't take this stuff, man. You know what I do? Champagnes. Don't pre young, blue level, you know, exotic drinks, man. Not no local stuff. Papillo, you know your friend is an average king. All those drinks you mentioned, you can never find them in my palace. I've told you that several times. It's not a problem, Your Highness. I understand where you're coming from. You know what? Whatever you offer me, I'm gonna take. Because we cool like that. <laughs> but if you were other loafers, those losers out there, man, I'll feel that shit in the trash. Gee. Well, <laughs> thanks for your understanding, eh? Um, Papilo, if I may ask, what brought you to my palace? Because I know something must have made cricket to abandon its hole in a broad daylight. <laughs> That's a wonderful question. Very lovely one. I'm being sure did. You know? The cricket didn't just leave the hole. Something made the cricket creep out of his hole. And that's ambition. My ambition to be the no what is coming to take. Man. <laughs> Hi, Papilo, who never sees to amaze me. Oh my God. Well, Papilo, why are you interested in a position you know the occupant is still alive? Oh, come on, Your Highness. We're here, man. I know you're a smart dude. Be the nigga that you are, the homeboy that you are. The dude in question is a vegetable. He's unhealthy. He's as good as dead. So what you saying? <laughs> Papilo, are you planning to kill him? Of course not. Hey, I'm not a murderer, man. I'm not a killer. But I know Big Mama, Mother Nature is knocking on the door. Death is knocking on the door. Chee! Well, <laughs> until then, allow him to die. <laughs> when he dies, I'll make pronouncement concerning the vacuum stone. <laughs> Your Highness! <laughs> Chee! <laughs> Not vacuum, no. Chee! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See what America has reduced, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> Chee! Go for that. Yeah. Go for peace again. Papa will not die. Yeah. Yeah. See, all I need to do is just be prayerful. Right now, I need to stay in the state of the world. This is the school that we need. I have it here. So stay with him. Let me go and look for something to eat. Don't worry. Keep up. I need to do something. No, no, no. Don't worry. Just, just rest. I'll be fine. 
Alright? Take care. Oh, brother. I'm sorry. 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 I'
hope you won't be mad at me. No. I won't be mad at you. Go ahead and see what you have in mind. Okay. My princess, do you do you like him? My princess, you are smiling. Um of course I am. <laughs> do you want me to cry? Not really. I I thought you were very mad at me. No, so why do you ask? My princess, I I saw the look on your face. You are right. I love him. I love him so much. But the problem is this. I'm worried due to the look on his face. It's like something is bothering him. Maybe it's because of his father's present condition. What happened to his father? My princess, his father is very sick. And he is in the hospital. Oh, no. I'm so sorry about that. Um, please, do you know the hospital he's in? Going to. No more to talk about. No more to talk about. I said, Where do you think you're going to? You're not going anywhere. Where do you think you're going to? And what do you think you're doing? And what does it look like I'm doing? No, what do you think you're doing? I said, What does it look like I'm doing? Don't provoke me this morning. Don't! You are going nowhere. Are you hearing me? I said, You are going nowhere. Njideka, will you leave me? You are going nowhere. Leave my clothes. Njideka, you know how brutal I can be when upset. Just leave my clothes. What else can you do? If not to beat me, you see, I'm ready for you today. You must drop money for food. Oh, you are going nowhere. So you believe it's because you're holding my cloth, I cannot go where I'm going. No, <laughs> you shall not, yeah? Mm -hmm. Eh? I see you're going nowhere. Will you leave this plot? I see you're going nowhere. Will you leave this plot? You're going nowhere. Yes, I am returning to everyone. I'm scared of taking that. I see you're going nowhere. Oh, everybody, please. Your Highness, like I say, we can't continue conducting the meetings of the council without an unknown. We need someone who can confidently occupy that vacancy temporarily for now. And that someone is me. Because ain't no dude in here more qualified than I am. Papilo, can you hear yourself speak? And I look if you need. Did I say anything wrong or evil? All I did was suggest to all y'all that I've become the unknowable for now. So that when each year Loka dies, my position can be made permanent. Papilo, why not respect yourself? Huh? Are you wishing the owner would dead just to occupy his position? All of you all know that I'm not the one in nature. I can never obstruct nature. Never. But the problem with all of you elders are that you're so myopic. Mm -hmm. You can't see what I can see. Mother Nature has been calling for no. So please don't accuse me of anything. Papiro, nobody is accusing you. We are only advising you to talk and behave like a matured man that you are. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let us calm down. Hmm? This is not the time to banter like this. What should be our main priority is how to raise funds so that we can pay Onowu's hospital bills and he can leave the hospital. Not thinking about his death. Nisha, you will just one minute. Papi, let's see outside. See me outside. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hi! 
Hey, good afternoon. Oh my God, you're so cute. I'm sorry, my name is Choma Madika. I'm from this village. I, I'm a graduate. Yes, we are four in my family. I'm the first child. What else do you want to know about me? Just sorry, sorry, sorry. What was he trying to offer? Oh, pardon my manners. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I didn't introduce that to you. Uh, Miss my best friend. Her name is Oge. She's also from this village. Anywhere you see me, you see her. She's my best friend. We do everything in common. Everything. Or every. Just tell me. Just tell me. Every, just tell me. Standing under the scorching sun while you seated inside your car, cooling off with your ass. Forgive my bad manners. And what is your name? Is that what you do for a living? Come on. Um, don't be too difficult. Going about that simple business. Okay. Since that's what it is, we have to start by giving you something first. That will make you go nervous. All right, my name is Chim Kodisa, Pascal, Okoro, Papatubeni, Upiego, Wano. I see. What is what? Bravo. Can I please have added that of your product? Okay. Wait. Since only you have ten good names for yourself. You came back to Nigeria with nothing. Papilo, I don't know if it is a long sojourn in America and their way of life that affected your sense of reasoning. I told you to lie low. Why did you bring up this matter again? Your Highness, to start with, I feel insulted by your first paragraph. You can't say shit like that to a nigga like me. I thought I was your friend, your homie. My apologies, Papilo. Better. But. Why did you bring up this matter again before the council? Why? Your Highness, if you know me like you claimed you did, way back in the days when we were kids, you know I'm a very ambitious person. I'm an ambitious man. Ambitious man? Ambitious man? You came back to Nigeria with nothing. Your ambition could not even fetch you one dollar. I just feel insulted with you. You were... Do you know you just insulted me again, nigga? Nigga, you are not going to get any sorry from me this time around. Man! You were. Eh? Eh? Chief! 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 And you were busy throwing yourself at him. And so? And so? Was that why you didn't give me a listening ear? From the start, you wanted him. So why don't you go get him by lending him your ears for him to talk to you? You saw everything. He did not want me. It's you that he wants. Then make him want you. I know that beautiful charmer that flaunts herself around men, that knows how to warm men to herself. You can make him want you. What is even wrong with you, this girl? What is wrong with you? Eh? Look at you. Do you think you are getting any younger? No, no. Come and sell breasts. Come 
come and suck breast. You are not getting any young girl. What is even wrong with you? Hmm, that's my are mother. you sure you know what you are doing? Mm -hmm. Eh? Look at the, look at that cute guy. Hi. Look at that that, that handsome guy. Mm -hmm. And with the look of things, it seems like he has a fat wallet. Didn't you see his car? What else do you want? Eh? What is wrong with you? Hey, hey. Choma. Cars, money is all that matters to you. Nothing else matters to you in this life, right? Be careful about your life, oh. To your friend, Papi. Talk to your friend, Papi. Look, that man is gradually losing it, but he does not know. What would I say? Eh? I've said it all, but he chose not to listen. You still have to talk to him some more. Still talk to him. How? Now, you reason it. How can a Papi lo be the uh, owner of this noble king? Even if he che uh, 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 a does not survive his illness, he still cannot be our owner. He discussed it with me earlier. Huh? But I uh, advise him to wake up from his slumber. Huh? Uh, yes. And I still ask him, if you refuse to wake up, let him keep on dreaming. So what kind of thing? <sighs> yeah, man. Uh, 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 shit, man. Uh, uh, God damn. Man, choo! Is that the kind of owner who we want? Can you imagine? How can Papillo become the owner of who we is in the Sophia Kingdom? Huh? How will he represent us at the Zuna Prime Minister's meeting? No, man. When he gets there, he, he, he will be telling them, God damn, man, a, 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 a shit man, a coco man, a woman. That's what he will go and do. Let me tell you. You see that puppy? He's a full grown, deported monkey. He can never be a woman. <laughs> but now, uh, take your daughter, go inside. I want to talk to my son. Hmm? Uh -uh. I know this has been your way. Since my son, Chima, came back, you want to always be with him so that you have everything he came with you alone. Uh -uh. Is it not my son? So? Eh? Is it not my son? It's also uh, my take son. Take your daughter and go inside. Every time you're outside looking for to talk. Hey! Mm -hmm. Am I a better gossip? Mama, Mama, it's okay now. Let's just go inside. Eh? Let's go. Mama, wait. Don't worry. <laughs> no matter how much you try, you can never take what is meant for you. Bam! <laughs> Why is that? Welcome, Hey! Hi! <clears throat> My son, you said you wanted to tell me something. Yes, Papa. What is it? Papa, you do be complaining now. At this time, I is that there is this beautiful girl I saw in this village. But, Papa, I tried talking to her. She couldn't give me a listening ear. She gave you no listening ear? Yes, sir. A lady in this community. Is your daughter Emma? Alone up here. Did you have to go to the house? Yes, a young, handsome, rich man like you, Nagui Okoju. She is a monkey. Papa, I don't even know what prompted her. She just left Papa. Do you know her? Or uh, what family she comes from? That is what she refused to tell mm. Yes. Okay. Go and find out her name. Find out the family she comes from and the rest of Alright, I will give you that. I am sure. Okay? Uh -uh. No girl in this community can refuse you. You are rich and handsome. You are my son. And that is the Ojo Day Compagnon. Hey, the Ojo Day Compagnon. It is finished. <laughs> you don't know what I can do in this community. But I trust you. I'm a girl right here. I trust you. That is the Ojo Day Compagnon. That is the Ojo Day Compagnon. I want some. 
Who is that girl in this company? My son now who was it? Hello? Direct simple answer to it. Man, I'm listening. Why can't I become the people know who are this community? Because we are not qualified in any way. When I asked you this question as my friend, I expected you to respond with answers, with reasons. Man, you have answered it for yourself. Leave alone who first. Which of the elders speak the way you do? Yeah, man. Shit, man. Huh? So my American accent has become the problem all this while. You are nothing but a jealous brother. Man. Jealous of what? Jealous of shit, man. Of course. What else do you have to say? Let me still ask you. Which of the elders is addressed as Papilu? Instead of Mazo Keke, Mazo Kafo. Eh? Not to talk of someone who is going to represent us as a state level. What are you going to be saying then? Eh? At the Zuna Prime Minister's meeting. Yeah, man. Shit, man. Nigga, man. Okuku, man. Eh? I can see it clearly now that you are wallowing jealousy over my American accent. Something you can never ever speak in your wildest dream. Not even any of your fellow elders. And you don't know how to deal with it. Man. If not that you are my bosom friend, I will have called you EIO. Which man would be jealous over another man's stupidity? Huh? I can't believe you came into my compound and you're running your mouth like this. Man. I don't come here to insult you. Let us speak some sense into you. Respect yourself as an elder. Man, if you don't leave my compound this minute, you will never leave my temper. Man. Or twice in a war. happened. Like they said, destiny differs. Yeah, we are sisters, but we have different destinies. You see? Tell me, where is the lie? <laughs> no, tell me. So, you are still like this, you've not changed, right? <laughs> eh? You know you're never serious. <laughs> that is it about life. You don't need to take life too serious, else painful exit will be your name. But you're never a serious person. Hmm? Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> now, where is the lie? 
Oh. And where is the lie now again? You play I have game. done my own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sister, oh, me. how is the environment and everything like? How is life over there, my dear? Apart from the natural environments we have here, and we are so free to do whatever we want, that we have freedom here. Eh? Over there is hundred percent better than this place. I can tell. Who chooses death over sleep? But believe you me, our country will revive. Who have go? Go to my Go to my What is it? And uh, what is it that you could not say before my sister? The princess, I thought you wouldn't want her to know. What could that be that I cannot handle before her? It's about the Kobe. Kobe? What about him? The princess. Speak and stop keeping me anxious. What happened? My princess, he, he lost his dad this morning. No! No! No, 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 no! Just come, let's go. I don't know. I was here with her discussing when Ugo came and took her away. Ugo came. And where did she go? Mom, I just told you I was here with her discussing when Ugo came and took her away. I don't even know what she told her that made her cry. She left in tears. Okay. I could not hold myself immediately Ugo told me about it. I broke down. So I had to rush down to this place immediately to see you. Tell me what happened. We met yesterday and your dad died today. How possible is it? No. It's unacceptable. Mm, princess, uh, please, I, I don't want you to start uh, blaming yourself or anything. It, was, it wasn't your fault, right? I, I don't know. You had complications already. You know, it was already in a very critical condition. As a matter of fact, I was even heading to give him food when I saw you. Yeah. Piccolo, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about it. Thank you. Hey. I was even planning to come to the hospital to help you pay the hospital bills if you cannot afford it. That was really thoughtful of you, my princess, but the bills wasn't the issue. You know, we already deposited um, some money and for them to commence treatment. I don't know, for whatever reason, they couldn't just save his life. Then what happened? What is the problem then? What did the doctor say that is the problem? What happened? <laughs> Papa, 
What are you celebrating? <laughs> Papa, <laughs> did you win a jackpot? My dear, something bigger than the jackpot. My beautiful daughters, something bigger than the jackpot. Something bigger than the jackpot. So what could that be? The you know of this community is dead, man! Papa, you are celebrating another man's death. A fellow chief like you. He was a bad man. He was the one stopping me from my desire. <laughs> Papa, how is the know of this land a bad threat to you? His presence was nothing but a stumbling block from me becoming the traditional prime minister of this community. Now that he's dead, listen, I am going to comfortably occupy that position as the owner of this community. Man! Yo, baby, you got the game. Congratulations. You mean you're talking about the society? Celebrating another man's death. Okay, don't find your sister. She's in the dark. She don't know what time it is. You don't know the game, baby. Tag along with your life. Now that's what you're Anybody who doesn't like what you do, tell me anything you want to see. Now, wow. Let me turn you on now. Yeah, I love you. Okay, what do you do? Hi. Hi. Hey. Were you not the girl I saw the other day with her stubborn friend? Yes, it's me, it's me. That my friend. She's very, very stubborn. You are correct. I am Choma the good girl. Okay. <laughs> I want us to talk. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Let me come down from my car. You, you want to come down? Yes. Oh. So how is she? She's fine. Uh -huh. Let me even ask you. What did you see in that, my friend? Okay, that cheap prostitute. Wait, wait. You mean she's a prostitute? Oh, you are new in this village. Who does not know Oge? Oge is a cheap prostitute. She has slept with almost all the men in this village. Any man that has not slept with her must be an underage. Yes. Eh? <coughs> if I let me tell you the full story. You get naked. 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 Eh? You get naked. 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 Name it. Even self. If you want now, you call her. You mean her name is okay?